Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, this is kind of a promotional video for CSAT uh, 2024. Lukman IS is offering a CSAT course, both uh, you know seven eight months long duration uh, program, as well as a crash course. But before we uh, you know share with you what what kind of program it is, we want to tell something about you know what CSAT is and how you can approach. So we will generally discuss these four points. The first point is. Why CSET is a part of your civil service exemption? You know, there were many, uh, you know, see, maybe this year also there were some demonstration that uh, CSET is difficult and uh, some sections, uh, some student would not be able to qualify, then so dissolve it. But you have to understand what is the intent of UPSC that, uh, let's say, suppose tomorrow you join services and uh, as an administrator, not immediately, but after a few years, you have to go into policy making, right? So there you have to understand graphs. Let's say suppose you are reading a IMF uh, document, World Economic Out Outlook, or Global Financial Stability Report. These are you know you cannot do uh, one day you have to read these reports. So if there is a graph, if there is a regression equation, and let's say or say simply let's say somebody ask you what is the seven percent of seventeen, right? So what you are going to do? You are going to open your calculator and all those things, or you will directly write okay this is uh, my one point one nine. So, if the, so, what my point is, this quantitative skill has to be the part of your uh, uh, knowledge spectrum. So, uh, take it, you know, <laughs> CSAT is going to be difficult and it will remain the part of civil service examination because it is the necessary skill which an administrator should have. Fine. Now, okay, one more thing I would like to uh, tell you. Let's say somebody says, uh, we know this year CSAT has gone difficult. Uh, but let's say in the knowledge spectrum, where would you place CSAT? Let's say somebody says, you know, I qualified IIT J. Right, that's fine. To try to imagine this, I, I will, you know, if I can show you, uh, maybe uh, some of you will understand. Let's say somebody says, I, I qualified, I, try to imagine a circle. Okay. This, somebody says, I qualified IIT J or NEET or any other information like that. So then you, then, you are just putting a thread around the circle, you know, that much knowledge after qualifying IITJ or any other examination. So that kind of knowledge you get. Then let's say you said, did some master, some wonderful master, right? Anywhere. Uh, maybe National Law School or uh, maybe uh, MSA Masters or some PGDM or ISI, right? So then you put this, uh, you know, you kind of, uh, can you see? You are, oh, sorry, you are stancing that circle. Right. During your UPSC preparation, you try to, you know, make this circle. See, masters and uh, all those things are, but when you prepare for UPSC, you put, make that circle more wholesome. So that is how your knowledge spectrum and uh, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, uh, help you imagine how you will evolve as a person. So now you can see, but your idea is to complete the circle. You must have, you know, full circle that will take uh, years of years of working. But this quantitative skill, this quantitative skill is somewhere part of, you know, this uh, uh, circumference as well as this, we call it diameter, <laughs> whatever. It is. So without this, let me somebody says I am very good in uh, writing policy making, you know, I can write wonderful uh, paragraphs. But you have to understand, you know, these skills are very, very important. Without these skills, you would not be able to move forward. Okay. So now let us second point, let us see the trend of past years. If you are a you know careful student, uh, you will generally download the papers and see the what kind of question it are. So you will observe that uh, it, since 2013, 2013 paper was fine, right? Uh, it, that time it was not a qualifying paper. It was a good paper, but the difficulty level, you know, it was not difficult paper. It was kind of I will say uh, not SSC, but uh, not even bank pure level, right? So that was the difficulty level. And uh, till 2021, uh, you know, I, I will say uh, very, you know, you go, you write a question, you come back. That's all. Uh, only thing you, you were supposed to do, uh, see the last year's paper question. But since 2023, you know, <laughs> the, I will say now the things are difficult. Now UPSC, 2023 paper was way above than bank PO level, right? Bank PO level. And in fact, to give you the right picture, when you prepare for CAD, let's say examination like CAD, GATT, or so you practice uh, three levels of difficulties. 
right we call it level 1 level 1 is the level 2 and level 3 so your he said what level 1 difficulty okay so do not wonder you know, if in 2024 or 25 you get level 2 question in uh, c set yet you know generally let's say in c set it uh, in cat 80 percent question are of, of uh, level 3 and uh, 10 20 percent of level 1 uh, let's say i will say 10 percent here 10 percent here right so we are going to find level 1 and level 2 question uh, in 2000 c set 2023 24 25 this you know you must prepare yourself this is going to happen this is bound to happen okay now uh, uh, now the you know i assume you know you are a careful student you will see the question paper but i have shown you the big picture fine now what you must do for success <laughs> so somebody asks you know success you know simple answer is work hard hard you know hard as much you can there is no alternative but anyway uh, something you can do let's say you start uh, practicing PYQs. That is fine. And you see last year's question paper. And one hint I have given you. Uh, you can uh, do level one question, level two question. And uh, now I, I think I can show you something. Lukman IAS is running a wonderful program. Right? You can please go to the website. And this program is CSAT. All right? Know your batch progress. The self-assessment test is on 8th of July. And it's starting on 15th of July, and uh, it's both. Uh, you know, you can enroll for the English comprehension. Let's say you you need help only on quant and reasoning. That is also fine. And uh, let's say uh, number of tests you want to write. Uh, there are number of tests. Only thing I will assure you, and I will assure you again and again. This is going to the most quality C set program in the UPSC space, right? There are people who are teaching for CSAT, but uh, I think, uh, you know, God knows, you know. See, just solving a question is not sufficient. Let's say somebody writes, you know, equation, the time speed distance. You have to do within that time limit, with that concentration of thought, with that agility, if, and how that comes through practice. Uh, and practice does not mean, you know, just engaging yourself in easy question. No. Expose your mind to difficult question. When you will expose your mind to difficult question, do it with them, you know. Uh, do, you know, solve them, uh, let's say, two questions per day and gradually you will see after, let's say, 100 days of practice, 200 questions are done. Then we are going to stop, your, you know, stop you qualifying uh, CSI to 2024. So, this is what. We have also uploaded uh, expected questions uh, on our YouTube channel. And uh, when I say expected question, I do not say verbatim, right? Okay, let's say I discuss a question number system. So it is not going to happen that you will get the verbatim question. But if you get something out, uh, you know, something, uh, some question other than those questions which we have discussed on our YouTube channel, then I would be very, very surprised. You know, and I can say with 99% probability that any question which you are going to get in CSET, not only CSET 2024, even 2025, both quantum and reasoning, Logic, you know, logical content has to be within that sphere. Let's say the, the kind of question we have discussed. Let's say it is their space. So CSET uh, 2020, 2024 would be here, right? CSET 2024 would be here, and uh, this is the uh, you know level of question we have discussed. And we are not, uh, you know, we are not discussing uh, let's say 100, 200 question. No, we will do only for every theme. Let's say for number system. Uh, time and distance, puzzles, only 2020 questions, but difficult and with a conceptual clarity. That is what Lukman IES will, you know, uh, promise you. So, this is what our session is. Now, let me, uh, let me also say one thing. You want to test, uh, let's say some, some engineers say that I am an engineer, but I could not qualify CSAT. See, you have to understand, CSAT is not mathematics. C set is, you know, C set is just a quantitative skill. And, uh, let's say RC part is just reading a skill. It is not, you know, let's say, let's say mission has a skill. Similarly, let's say somebody says, I qualified CAT and, uh, you know, there are people who have qualified CAT and they have been scoring uh, 100 percentile three, four times. But when you talk to them, you say, okay. Now, what motivates you? Then they will say, okay, uh, you know, something in number theory, something in algebraic geometry, that kind of figure I'm not getting. So, do you see the person who have, you know, uh, got a uh, hundred percentile four five times in cat even you know he has higher motivation so try to understand 
just take CSAT only as a CSAT. Just focus on those, uh, uh, let's say, 200 questions, quality questions, do that and just uh, qualify it. Okay. The, now, I want to discuss with you one uh, with you one question. It is not PYQ, but uh, my uh, my understanding is this: that if you can do that kind of analysis, then you will qualify uh, CSAT uh, for sure. And you know, if, if you can expose your mind to this kind of understanding, what it is? Let's say this question is there: if x and y are non-negative integers, so the moment you read the question, uh, you have to you know uh, do not make equation, but uh, uh, you have to you know decode it. Okay, they are non-negative. Fine. And this is what their x is x plus uh, nine is equal x plus nine is equal to z and y plus one is equal to z. And this condition has to hold. Then the maximum possible value of two x plus y. Okay, this is two x plus y is equal to. Now see, this is not a question of tricks that uh, you will do it. You know, y option no. Here you have to do some you know some work. And that is not mathematical, that is quantitative work. And that, and this is what, if I can say in one word, this is what UPSC is testing. That no, you know, just, you know, mugging up some formula, no, no, no. So here no formula will help you. Here you have to do analysis. And within that time meter, let's say I have to do, you know, what I will think, okay. I have to find the maximum value, but I have to hold this condition. What could be my maximum value? I will look at option, okay. So maybe, you know, two, three, four, I'm, you know, if I take two, then uh, you know my mind will be confused. If I take take two, then what will the value of y? You know, uh, I will go, so what I will do? Okay, uh, you know, with practice I will know why not make a table. X y, this is the value of x y z, and the value of x plus y and z plus five is going to be this condition I have to satisfy. Right? Let's say let me start with x value one. I start with one, so my z value is going to be ten. We got x plus 9 is equal to 10 and y value is going to be y plus 1 is that. So, 1 less than that. Okay. So, I will say x plus y is my now 10 and z plus 5 is 15. So, my condition is holding. z plus 5 is greater than 10 plus 5. So, this is fine. But I will say I have to look for the maximum value of 2x. So, why not, you know, why not take some higher value? So, I will tell, okay. See, in, uh, when, when I will practice, I will check for 2, 3. But in examination scenario, you have to take some risk. Now you will say, do not go for 2, 3, directly jump to, let's say, 3. Then you will say, okay, now this is 3. Then uh, how much is this? This is going to be 12, right? Or rather, if you are more risky, uh, you might take uh, 4. It's, it depends upon your appetite. Okay, then you will say, okay, x plus y is 14 and this is 17, right? 12 plus 5, okay, this is also holding. Then you will say, why not test for 5, right? Then 5, you will say, okay, 5. Then I, I will add 14, right? Then you will say, okay, this is going to be 13. This is my 18 and this is my 19. You will say, okay. Now, no, you, now you will say, okay, till this point, this is holding my Z plus 5 is greater than X plus 5. See, why have, this is very, very important point. If you can get that, you know, ability, to, uh, you know, you can uh, risk appetite that want to skip a step, that is what. And it is not, you know, some uh, uh, trickery. It comes through practice, through learning. Fine. Now let's say next point six. Now fifteen. Now I cannot jump. You know, it, it's very close. So this is fourteen. This is for six for twenty. This is twenty, and this is also twenty. Here it is not holding. Why it is not holding? Because the x plus uh, z plus five is not greater than x plus five. So I will say this is not holding. So my this line this will be holding, right? So and you are looking for the maximum value of two x plus five. Two x will be two into five plus y y is 13 you will say 23 right b would be the answer got it so if you understand uh, this thought process uh, i've tried my best you know in my you know best respect to share uh, uh, share with you whatever the best i have in me and uh, i hope uh, you will uh, you know you will invest your do not you know, do not make should you like this that daily you are going to practice uh, csat for 3 4 hours no 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 Otherwise, see, this examination is mainly for the, you have to invest time in the optional general studies. What you will tell yourself, I am going to choose 200, 300 question for quant, maybe uh, 50 puzzles and some good RC. And I will, uh, you know, some difficult, uh, maybe uh, some, you know, something uh, higher than what was asked in CSAT 2023. 
and I will revise them three, four times. If you will do it, you know, uh, sincerely, I'm sure you will qualify for that. Thank you very much. Thank you.